this video is essentially what's your mind looking for? An excuse or the path through? And it's always going to be tough to focus on the path through rather than the excuse. You'll always find a good excuse to throw in the towel. But the question you have is, who do you want to be? Who do you want to look on? And when you look back 10 years from now at the day today, are you going to see that this was a day you moved your life forward? That 10 years from now you thank yourself for the actions that you took today? Because if 10 years from now you're thanking yourself for the actions that you took today, of building relationships, of taking care of your of your diet, of your exercise, of, of keeping your mind clean and clear and focused. Ten years from now, you'll thank yourself for those activities. This week, I had the privilege of listening to Tony Nadal share his life's work with the Vistage Latin America community. Tony Nadal is the uncle of Rafa Nadal, the number one tennis legend that recently won his 13th Roland Garros. Tony Nadal talked about what he worked on with Rafa and uh, the, the title of his talk was How to Prepare for Difficult Times. And if you want to be number one tennis player in the world, you're going to have difficult times. You're going to meet Djokovic, you're going to meet Federer, you're going to meet a lot of players that have put a lot in. And if you're going to beat them, you need not only to have the ability to play tennis well, but to have the character to stay in the struggle till the end. And the whole session with Tony Nadal was not about tennis. It was about what's happening in the six inches here between your ears and how he worked with Rafa to really get mental strength as a part of Rafa's character. And uh, Tony Nadal, a couple of the, the, the quotes that I, I jotted down, he said, one, an excuse has never won a tennis game. There's no excuse that has ever helped in winning a tennis game. The only thing an excuse can do is give you a justification for letting it go, letting the other person win, not feeling so bad in the loss. But an excuse will never help you win. And what he did through Rafa's childhood was put Rafa in difficult conditions. He'd say, Rafa, we're going to practice for 90 minutes. They'd be playing on a tough court with potholes in it under the heat and there wouldn't be enough water. And Rafa, after 90 minutes, would be ready to give up. And Tony would say, let's, let's play a bit longer. And he said he was training Rafa that even when you're exhausted, even when you've been looking forward to stop, even when you think, oh, I've done my training, you have this character ability that you can stay in the struggle. You can stay to the end. And this is what Tony put into Rafa, the idea that if you can stay in the struggle to the end, if you can hold the struggle for longer than the other, you will win more games than you lose. And I think anyone who's watched Rafa's career, watched how Rafa fights it out, you know, Rafa never gives you a game. Rafa never lets a game go. And this idea that our mind can be used in one of two ways. One way is to search for the excuse. The other is to search for the path, to find a way to get through this no matter what. And, and you choose one or the other. The moment your mind is looking for an excuse, all of your creative resourceful power is looking for a reason to allow you to stop, to allow you to abandon, to allow you to throw in the towel, to allow you to explain why it wasn't your day, to explain why tomorrow will, will be better, but today just wasn't your day. The conditions were not right. And you're probably right. The excuse will be true. But it doesn't matter that it's true. The moment your mind is looking for an excuse, it will find one and it will give you the path to just drop down from what you're truly capable of giving. And I think mean, nowadays we're not on the center court at Roland Garros. We're not uh, looking at Federer or Djokovic or Andy Murray across the net. We're in times of COVID and that's probably a greater struggle. A game of tennis maximum last four or five hours out there on the sun in the Australian Open or in the French Open. Covid looks like it's going to go nine months, it's going to go to next year, it's going to go longer and staying strong, remembering what's important, keeping clear, these are uphill habits. 
they're not downhill habits. And, and everything that is gonna put you in a better place tomorrow is what John Maxwell calls an, an uphill habit. Taking the time to get clear on who you are and where you're going, and what's important today, it takes effort. It doesn't happen naturally. Taking the time to listen to others, to understand who they are, to help them get clear on who they are now, where they're going, and what action can take them there, it takes time, it takes effort, it doesn't just come naturally. Taking the effort to connect to people, to build relationships, to get clear on your day, to get clear on the actions, these are uphill habits and they never just flow. And, and I guess John Maxwell has this, this idea that all, all the habits that take you to success, to take you to a stronger, better, more resourceful place tomorrow than today are uphill. And, and no matter how much practice you, in, you put in, they will always be uphill. Exercise, the fittest person in the world. Maybe, yes, they do wake up and have a, a desire to exercise, but to go beyond, to push themselves, to, to burn, to, to feel pain, to push past that is what's important in the exercise and helping them be better and better for tomorrow. And none of this is a downhill habit. So for me, often I find my mind thinking, oh, it should be easier. You know, after so many years working as a teacher, after so many years making YouTube videos, it should be easier, it should just flow, I should just have ideas popping into my head. And it doesn't happen. I have to take the time to write down notes in Evernote, to listen to podcasts, to read books, to find ideas and, and structure them in a way that, that when I sit down with a camera in front of me, there's ideas there. And by no means do I compare myself to Rafa Nadal, but I think the key question in all of our minds is, are you looking for excuses? Because the moment you're searching, you will find. And the moment you find, you will throw in the towel, you'll let it go, you'll complain, you'll explain. And none of that is going to lead to victory on the centre court at Roland Garros. And none of that is going to help you achieve what you are on this planet to be truly able to do. Well, I hope you dedicate your mind to finding the path through and putting yourself in a better place tomorrow. It's uh, great to have you this week connected. Uh, it's Connor here, Castel de Fels Beach, just outside Barcelona. Come to get some fresh air while we still can here in Barcelona. I hope COVID isn't uh, making life too hard for you wherever you are. Stay safe, stay sane. Uh, thank you for your likes, your comments, your questions, your subscribes. Helps me find videos to make each week and share with the channel. Thank you. Have a great one.